pretty cool news. Uh, the EPA just approved the first ever long-lasting antiviral product for use against COVID-19. Uh, it's an it's a groundbreaking development that apparently you can spray this this new antiviral into airplanes and uh, I don't know movie theaters. Whatever surfaces, you right? just spray down every surfaces, surface, right. and it's good for weeks on end. Now they did say it doesn't take the place of normal cleaning. We're a little pissed about well, that. I am. I am I, that the guy I, said it. Now this doesn't take the place of normal cleaning, and I'm like, so are we. I still have to bathe. That's unconscionable. Come on now. <laughs> What are you talking about? So you now you wrecked it for Jeffy. Now he's. I mean, if you're going to create hoping, something, right? At least make it all encompassing. Let me spray it on. Mm-hmm. I don't have to. I'm done. I don't have to shower. You don't have, I don't to, have to shower have to wash, ever nothing. again. <laughs> Every 25 days or so, I spray that on. I'm good. Uh, I guess it's really long lasting. I mean, that's huge. Uh, yeah, very huge. So you could use this at schools. The implications of that. Uh, are, football stadiums, uh, uh, presumably. That's a. I mean, that is not a million dollar idea. That's a. That's billion a billion dollar yeah. idea. Whoever invented this is going to be wealthy beyond their wildest dreams, right? Because who wouldn't want to use this? You use this in the workplace. You spray down every surface, right? I mean, uh, I mean, I, that's not the whole battle, but it's. I mean, that's huge. Someone in needs controlling to this thing. Impress on President Trump not to mention it. Yeah, because otherwise, uh, the as soon as he does. As soon as he says, hey, the EPA just uh, had a breakthrough. They just approved a major breakthrough in protection against COVID-19. The the press will go nuts against it. It'll be the worst substance ever. Ever approved by the EPA. (laughs) Ever Ever. approved. It'll be absolute poison to people. (laughs) You want to kill people, just spray this stuff on it on any surface. EPA approves the new DDT. Trump pressures EPA into approving dangerous substance. You know all that's coming. Oh, yeah. All of it's the first, the first time he mentions it, uh, this stuff doesn't have a chance, whatever it's called. I can't find the name of it, but uh, really exciting breakthrough. It's called, it's called Fisher. Is it? Yeah, it's called Fisher. Oh, yeah, I'm I, surprised I you're wanna... sitting there well, then today. I, it's called know, look, I, Fisher. I, I told Keith I'd be here. So I'm here. You're just a man of your word. So I am. Hmm. I am, but I Very was, impressive. I've been, I've been a little busy trying to create the <laughs> the antiviral spray. Uh, so this uh, first first of its kind, they've issued an emergency exemption to the state of Texas, permitting it to allow American Airlines, who just by the way laid off nineteen thousand employees, yeah. nineteen thousand, and the other the other uh, airlines are already um, laying <laughs> about the to ground follow work. suit. Yeah. Yeah. the groundwork for that. So they're allowing American Airlines <clears throat> and Total Orthopedic Sports and Spine to use the new product. Uh, and it kills these viruses on surfaces for up to seven days. Seven days! After carefully reviewing the available data and information, the agency determined that the product helps to address the current national emergency. This product is expected to provide longer-lasting protection in public spaces. I mean, that that's a... No kidding. That's a game changer, really. I think that's a game changer. <laughs> yes. I mean, we already knew that they, the airlines were uh, spraying down with the, with the, with the foggers. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, they were doing that in between flights. Right. I mean, it, was like it, didn't, it wasn't a lasting spray. And I would think movie theaters, this is like a godsend for them. You just spray down the theater once. You don't have to go in there after every single showing and do some kind of massive cleaning which you're all doing now <clears throat> and i went to uh i went to a movie for the oh yeah yeah for for the first time since people were there i mean Stu and i went to a movie early on when the first one opened just as kind of a right joke uh but this was for real because tenet opened <clears throat> you familiar with that movie have you uh, seen a little the previous? bit yeah i mean uh... amazing movie i i slept through a lot of it it was that amazing. No, I mean, it was, it was amazing. That amazing. I was just that tired. I was just wiped out, having gotten up at 2 and 2.30 all week. And then by Friday, I'm just like, oh, I want to stay awake, but uh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, the the theater was maybe, maybe 25%. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and so that's going to limit. That's going to limit the the 
the amount of money you can take in for the weekend, and it did. Now, this movie cost $200 million to make, and in, in its first weekend made $20 million. But, I mean, we're I talking mean, about we're talking about uh, an industry that was making, what, $1,000 a few weeks ago? Yeah. Because nobody was, almost yeah. literally no one went to a movie theater. They were all closed, for one thing. Yeah, they were all closed. And in fact, their big, their big <clears throat> promotion this weekend was uh, uh, Tenet is showing in every movie theater that's <clears throat> open. Wow. I mean, uh, <laughs> every movie theater that's open is showing this movie. <laughs> And it still made just $20, $20 million, right. which is, I, I, you know, pretty good under the circumstances. And that's going to be the argument with the spray, innovative. right? Now I'm trying to find a, I'm trying to find a, a, an out mm. for, the, for the antiviral spray. Okay, so we spray things down. That still mm-hmm. doesn't stop the human-to-human spread, right? Uh, probably not. No, right. If you're infected and you leave your germs on the surface, though, it's going to kill those. Right. But if somebody's breathing in your face, no, it won't stop that. Won't stop. So that. they're still going to force me to wear a mask. Yes, and get the vaccine, which I'm okay with. You Are know. you okay with the vaccine? Because Keith is adamant that he, no matter what, he's not taking I it. No, he's not taking it. I know a lot of people are. I'm considering it. A lot of people. I mean, I feel like I have to. Yeah, you got too many other issues, right? Yeah, you got all those diseases that I are haven't, battling I haven't, each other. I haven't gotten a flu shot yet this year, and I uh-huh. and, I, and I, I I talked to someone this weekend that just got it. And I thought, oh, that's right. They just got the flu shot yeah, or got the got virus? The flu shot. Okay. And I still have to, I said, oh, you know, that reminded me that I still have to worry about that. Mm-hmm. So. I'm really not worried about the flu. I, it feels like I shouldn't be worried about the flu at all. I've never been worried about the flu. Never gotten the flu shot. Just take my chances with that. The flu doesn't seem like a killer to me. It, you know, unless Obviously you're Obviously it is, 80. yeah. If you're 80, yeah, it can be. Uh, but and I'm that's not why 80. I yet. Take it. Yes, you, you being well beyond 80 <laughs> yes. should be taking it. Plus, you've got every other disease known yeah. to mankind. And so, if you, there's a vaccine for it, I take you it. You better take it because that'll affect the balance of power of the viruses <laughs> inside your body. If you get this one too, balance of power shot. <laughs> I feel like I probably should. Although, yeah, I think you should. I, although, uh, I think I should. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of willing to, I'm certainly willing to consider it. Um, yeah, me too. I'm not just going to offhandedly say, oh, absolutely not. Now, if they mandate it, that might be a different thing. Then I'm going to, then my, right. my freedom issues will kick into gear. Feel, you're feel, like, no, the, you're not forcing me to do that. No, now I'm not going to take it. That's why I'm so upset about the masks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the, is the mandate. Because you're willing, I'm willing to do it. Me too. If you, if you want me to that badly. So I can't go into the grocery store unless I have a mask on. All right, I'm going to put your stupid mask on. If you want me to wear the mask at church because it makes everybody feel better, I'm going to wear the mask. If I have to wear it at the movie theater until I sit down or at a restaurant until I sit down, then take it off. Seems stupid to me, but I'll do is it. That, so is that the deal at the movie theater that you can take it off while you're sitting down? They don't really say that. But uh, I just kind of assumed it because I'm not going to sit there for two and a half hours with a mask on. And you're obviously, a lot of people are eating. Yeah. So, I mean, you're not eating yeah. with the mask on, duh. Right. But but I, I didn't wear the mask during the, during the movie. Did they have, at the theater, I've seen some signs where they're mandating specific kind of masks now. Oh, Was, I haven't seen that. Were there any signs there mm. about the masks at the movie theater? Not that I noticed. Mm-mm. What the N95? Okay. Like they're mandating? Yeah, they were it saying being N95. Uh, got the, they were there was a there was a sign posted <laughs> wow. online that uh, talked about uh, how it uh, it was a special. It was at a movie theater too. Hmm. Uh, it was really strange that it would. Uh, here we go. Is that an AMC? Um, your mask must cover your nose and mouth and fit snugly around your face and chin. Neck gaiters, open chin bandanas, and masks with vents or exhalation valves are not acceptable at this time based on World Health Organization guidelines. Mm. Now that... Well, well they should also include the cloth and the surgical mask with that too because that's not protecting us much. Right. I mean, 30% maybe, people say. Now, and this, you know, this was in one particular movie theater, but still... I mean, still, it, it, yeah, that's hardcore, right? Yeah, that's that's amazing. Well, that's gonna damage attendance too. 
because not only do I have to wear a mask, but it's got to be a specific kind of mask. And I don't know that. I don't like even I have that. I don't even have a mask like that. And I don't know where to get one. I don't want to know where to get one. What do you think of that? I'm not coming to your stupid theater. How about that? What do you think of that? 